disappeared. Just crumbled. Crumbled. So how could you do this to me, Arsenal, after all these years? I, don't, I can't feel sorry for you, though. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another opposition preview, joined by the lovely Devo from the Football Manager Show. Come on, you goodness. Ahead of the North London Derby on Saturday. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to the lovely cinnamon in Clapham. Thank you guys so much for letting us film here. How are you feeling about the game? I don't know, to be honest. Um, usually, I'm used to being very confident in the North London Derby, but mm. in recent times, that's not been the case. Um, but this time, obviously, Aubameyang coming in, uh, Mkhitaryan. Uh, after the Swansea game, if you'd ask me, it would have been like, oh god. But after the Everton <laughs> game, albeit it was at home, this is what's, what worries me, is at home we are tremendous. Mm, Away from home, we are the exact op opposite of that, which, you know, I can't which actually figure out. what this game is. <laughs> yeah. But again, we do very well at Wembley. So, technically, we're That's not true. really away. If you were playing against Chelsea, hands down, you'd be winning it. But you're I don't not. know, after, after <laughs> the no, last two results for Chelsea, I'm not sure. At Wembley? Well, no, just That's in general. I'm no, I'm saying at Wembley mm. against Chelsea, you'll yeah. be fine. But this is not against Chelsea. It is at Wembley. Um, no, I fully agree with your record mm. at um, the Emirates, unfortunately. Uh, I got to win it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, mm. that's true. The whole season's been going well for you guys. But this is at Wembley, which, um, which was interesting for us at the beginning of the season, obviously. I spoke to you guys about yeah. it as well. And, and loads of people were like, well, we're not going to do well. And it did start a bit bumpy, but recently we're unbeaten there. Um, yeah. I think we've put in some great performances against some I mean, strong teams as well. Yeah. You was always going to adapt. Um, that, Eventually, you know, yeah. That was always going to happen. Um, yeah, so that part, I mean, I'm not saying, it's nowhere near what we had last season, obviously. Mm -hmm. Last game at the lane, um, two, or last, North London Derby, penultimate last game at the lane, and all these sort of things. So that was a huge game, and I don't think anything can really top that. Um, that was special in many ways. That 2 0 was amazing. Um, no, seriously, like it, there's nothing. It won't mm. compare to it. Technically, obviously, it's a different yeah. fixture, but it's so different. And um, obviously, that was near the end of the season. Uh, guaranteed us um, quite a good finish. Yeah. Um, but this one could also be interesting because if we win, uh, we could go in temporarily into third place. Uh, it would drop you guys down even more. It would mean it would be a big gap will open up, which is going to be very hard for us to, yeah. you know catch up with. Uh, just, to, just to ask you, mm. what system do you think he'll go? Because Pochettino used to do the three at the back, didn't he? Yeah, but, but recent since times Toby, been, no, know. it's mainly because since Toby's been out, it's not doesn't really work, because I don't think Tyre particularly works on in the back three, mm. unless it's when Jan and Toby. Uh, if if one of them are missing, it doesn't really work with Sanchez and, and Jan and, and Dyer. Um, I think we'll stick with the back four. Actually, you know, Toby's back, but I don't... Mm. I don't know, we'll see. Toby's back That's training. a big game to go into though, and it's just your first game We've got back. the midweek game. True. We've got the midweek game. Uh, if he gets a few, hopefully a few minutes, because mm. we're technically recording this mm. beforehand. Um, so I'm hoping he will get a few minutes there and then get back into it. Yeah. But he's a seasoned pro. I mean, oh, the yeah. fact that you're going to throw him into that game, it's not like he's a youngster no, or something. No, no. But I mean, um, you know, but, yeah. he is probably the best centre-back in the league on his day, to be honest. Indeed. Um, Although I think Jan has done tremendously this season for us. Well, no, he's, he's, not, he's not rubbish by any, <laughs> any... You know what I mean? He's not rubbish by any means. He's a top, top defender yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. I mean, those two together are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just Toby's tends it's to stand quality. out a little yeah, more. No, I do but, agree yeah, that. I mean, I'd, both of those we were linked with before they went to Tottenham, so I'd have been happy with either one of those. Yeah. Uh, we got Mustafi. <laughs> um, <laughs> I often say Mustafi. <laughs> I love you know, that. <laughs> Mustafi's that guy that if there was a fight going on, you're trying to calm it down. Mustafi would just jump in and start throwing punches. No, like, he's so <laughs> rash. He just doesn't think. He sees the ball and he goes for it. Um, so. You know. <laughs> oh, uh, no, let's talk about you because obviously yeah. this is on my channel, so um, I need a bit more of your insight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously. What about you? Form formation for you. Who, what's your team? Is Czech going to play? What's happening? Czech apparently was out, but now it's looking like he may come through. He might play. Either way, we've got crap goalkeepers. I wanted to ask what's I'm your team. I'm not happy with either one of those. Yeah. I've said it before. I said it at the beginning of the season. Selling Chesney was the worst decision. That that hurt me personally more oh. than selling Sanchez. It made no sense because you knew mm. Czech was coming towards the end of his career. Mm. We've got a ready-made goalkeeper there, you know, who's experienced. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's played first-team football in Champions League for Roma. He's played for, well, obviously now Juventus. So he's mm. obviously got calibre. And our backup is David Ospina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, why would you do that? It's no, like selling your house when you've got another house to move into. 
Do you know what I mean? It's, no, 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 you've got to share two of yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? You just wouldn't. So, yeah, either one of those goalkeepers doesn't, doesn't really give me... I mean, don't get me wrong, Czech is a legend, he's been a legend. He's a quality but keeper, nonetheless. He's coming towards the end of his career and he's starting to show. Like Wenger. Well, Brilliant. Wenger, you never know when he's going to give up. He might be in another ten years. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think in front of him, we are going to go with the, with the back four. Okay. I think we have to. My biggest concern is Xhaka. I don't think he should play in this game. Mm -hmm. I think if Wilshere is fit, it should be Wilshere and Ramsey. Is he fit though? Is well, he, he ever was, really truly well, fit? Well, he, he had the flu or something last week, so he didn't start in the Everton game. Mm. But I think he should be back. I think it should be Wilshere and Ramsey, just because that's more mobile. Xhaka's not mobile enough. And when you've got Dembele and you've got Dyer. Dembele's and got, been on form lately. Yeah, He's yeah. been really good. So you need players who are mobile in there, who get around. Xhaka's too static mm. and he gets, he gets passed by. So yeah. what is his quality then? If he's See, done... you need someone next to him who's going to do all the legwork. He's a deep laying playmaker, okay. so he Fair can enough. spread the ball and start start moves from the back. But he needs time but and if, space for that. If you turn him, he's got. Do you know what I mean? You're not, he's not catching anyone. Fair enough. You know I mean? Yeah. So. What's that? I hope he plays. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, I, I think he's okay to play in the home games when you think, you know, but yeah, away games, yeah. I wouldn't play him. Mm. So I think he will play Xhaka, I haven't said that. <laughs> so I think he'll play Xhaka and Ramsey. I think it'll be the same team that started against Everton, to be fair. Okay, yeah. I think it'll be the exact same team. I think we'll play a similar team mm. to the Liverpool and the United one. Uh, whether it's going to be the exact same, maybe with Toby back, I don't know. Uh, Do you think he'll play Dio or Wanyong? Hmm, good question. I mean, he has played Dyer recently. Uh, I do like Dyer. I think he plays really well in centre mid, but Wanyama is a different quality. And I know he was a super sub for us oh, wow. against what Liverpool, goal. but um, I didn't know he had that in his locker. Gorgeous he didn't goal. know he had that in his locker. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I know Kane didn't, but yeah. that's a different topic. Um, but I think Wanyama is a quality, quality player um, who we might need. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think if we can field our strongest sign of a series, then why not? I, got, I think it would be a very close game. I think. I as, as it will long, be open as well. As long as we don't concede early mm -hmm. in either half. Well, after 20 seconds or so. Yeah, <laughs> um, we, we love to concede goals early, especially in the second half. If we can, mm. if we can you know, not do that, we might have a chance. Mm. I think we... I, I have a funny feeling we might sneak a win, to be fair. I think anything can happen. Mm. I think it's really hard to predict exactly how this game's going to go. Mm. Obviously, we're both feeling confident towards our own team. Yeah. Uh, I think it will be an open game. And I don't think either teams will keep a clean sheet. I'm going, going to go for like a 2-1 for mm -hmm. us. But, but as, I said, as you said, if we score early, I don't think it's going to help you guys at all. Like the whole crowd will go behind yeah. and, you know, it, it could be another full house. And we broke the Premier League record against United. There's a reason why we couldn't yeah, I didn't, that. I didn't so, know you guys had it in yet, to be fair. Well done. Well done for <laughs> filling out Wembley. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 anyway, <laughs> the point is, it's going to be a big game. It always mm. is, and I yeah, think yeah. it's so unpredictable. I don't think I've ever had a Northern Derby preview where I haven't said that before because you, you just can't predict it. Mm. And uh, you always turn up, you know, even if we if you have a bad patch, you're still going to turn up for this game. Oh, yeah. Your players know how much it means, so that's that's why it's going to be hard to predict. Um, uh, I tell you, I tell you now, if we go a goal down in the first five or six minutes. I can see us conceding a lot of goals because no, it, yeah. we're chasing the game. And mm. If we're chasing the game, if you open up, that's perfect for oh, us. Oh man, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's tough. true. That's so true. Yeah. Like, so we cannot concede yeah. early. And we have to score early then. <laughs> <laughs> well, so okay, what are your predictions then? My prediction is, I think we will win this game. Um, I think the reverse of what you said, two-one, mm -hmm. possibly even three-two. I just think Abamyang. <laughs> I think Abamyang. His pace. We've played finishing. against him twice this season already. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't have Ozil and, uh, and Mkhitaryan behind him. Oh my that's, god, that's, because th he's so used to playing with them. Yeah, Mkhitaryan, they two, those two together at Dortmund were absolutely... That wasn't really, recently, mate. That was a couple of years ago, three years ago. Mm. And now they've got Ozil, you know, best number 10 in the world. Mm. You know, yeah, so that. true. It is true. So true. It is true. Yeah, so I think with those two behind him, um, you know, supplying him with, with, with bullets, I think... We, we can score a lot of goals against that Tottenham defence. I think if Liverpool can get two, I think we can get yep, two. Okay, well, well Liverpool's at Anfield. Yeah, yeah. So United did the scoring system. Yeah, but United, 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 they got Mourinho in there. You know, United aren't going to go. They got Lukaku. Lukaku. Oh, look at, yeah, no, that's not Lukaku. Lukaku is a waste of space. Yeah. 90 million. Fully agree with you. Know what I mean, you could have given me crazy. 2 million, I probably would have had two goals less. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'll put on a bid and I'll I'm put on a better show. I'll play right back. 
But yeah, I'll uh, you on the wings. <laughs> yeah, right back in the dressing room. Um, I think <laughs> Are you guys seen the banner games, man? Yeah, uh, football is not my sport anymore. I'm going to take up bolts. <laughs> but <laughs> I love no, that. I do, think, I do think I do think we'll come out of this with three points. I think we need it. I think we need to win this game. Uh, well, just so, will you set up that attackingly then? Do you yeah, think you're going to set Benga up knows for no the way. draw? Oh, okay. So Benga you're knows no other way. We'll go for. We'll go to win the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's going to suit us though. Like, yeah. If yeah. you guys come out going mm. attacking us, that is only going to suit us. I think it'll come down to whose attack clicks better on the day. Mm, for sure. Mm. Yeah. No, it's like it's always like not. I'm not going to say like a cup game, but realistically, they're mm. always just like down to the day. Yeah. Because form totally goes out the window. And here's, here's what I'm going to say. Welbeck's going to come off the bench. He's fit again. Welbeck's going to come off the bench and score the winner. In your dreams? Not even in my dreams. I don't like Danny Welbeck. I was joking. <laughs> it's useless. It's useless. I bet he doesn't even tie his own you shoelaces. You love your own team so much. I've never liked Danny Welbeck. That was the worst day. As an Arsenal fan, I used to slate him. When I was a man, I slate yeah. him mer like mercilessly. Yeah. And the day he signed for us, a little bit of my soul just... Disappeared. Just crumbled. Crumbled. So how could you do this to me, Arsenal? After all these years. I don't. I can't feel sorry for you, though. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> like it sounds so nice, but I just can't feel sorry for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's all right, I guess. He's not. He's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, As I said, what, I can't feel sorry for you. So. Yeah, I think I think we'll win two one. Two one. Yeah, I'm gonna say two one. I think we both agree on the fact that it will be an open game. Um, be a good game to watch. It usually is, yeah. to be honest. I don't think, I can't imagine this game being like a boring deal. No, it never is. Uh, it will be. And what I do like about der these derbies is that they're not always viciously physical. No, no, no. So they're like, they're technically good. Um, but then Jack hasn't played in one for a while, has he? So I think Jack and Dembele, you watch that, that's going to be a bit of a... Yeah, well, there's only one person who's winning that, and that's Dembele. So let's, I'm just let's saying, stop there's, that there's, here. Jack will probably pick up an injury in this one. Yeah, easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying, trying to take Dembele out. That's not going to be hard no. for Jack to pick up a wheelchair, yeah. to pick up a, an injury super, and get back in his wheelchair. Super Jack, super, super Jack. Go and put him out in a wheelchair. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> It'll still be better, won't it? <laughs> I can't even argue with you. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll give you that. No, I think it'll be a very good game of football for the neutrals. Probably not so much for us because um, oh, we're going to be so heart attacks. Nice. Yeah, but um, I, I think easily yeah, open game. It'll be an entertaining game, and which it's is an what early North game as well. Yeah, well, it's a twelve thirty. Yeah, it's going to be. We don't usually do well in early kickoffs, but that's usually because we have to travel up the country. Well, you're not having to travel much. Yeah, it's only down the road, so yeah. So hopefully that won't affect us. But. No, I don't think it'll affect anyone. I mean. Both traveling from North London to Wembley, yeah. so you know. Yeah. Oh, another thing that I didn't talk about was the, the fullback position. Obviously, Davies and, and Trippier. Uh, Trippier or Trippier, whoever he's yeah. uh, playing. Yeah, glorious fit again. Against, so, um, oh, oh, Mommy, I got injured in the last game, didn't he? Did if it? We, if we're playing Kalasinich, we're in trouble. Shit, I didn't even think of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, We didn't even finish your team. We just went. No, you, you know what? I said the same team. You got same to Laka, and then you banged on about your top three, and then yeah. that was it. Yeah, I like... forgot about the fullbacks. Because if Kolasinic <laughs> is playing left fullback, we're in trouble. Because he's, he's started the season really well. And then it's just like he completely forgot how to play football. And yeah, it's not. I think Monreal, obviously, he's like. I think he's joint top goal scorer, so he's banging in goals for fun. Is I don't he? Know, no, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but he is a scoring a little bit. <laughs> he's got, a little bit. He's got more goals than Oxlade Chamberlain, that's a fact. But um, yeah, he's. he's a... <laughs> it's not relevant for me. Like, uh, I, I, I could not care less about Oxlade Chamberlain, <laughs> but I'm so glad you threw that in there. Never can anyone else. But, <laughs> but yeah, okay. so one I'm not playing a left back is a massive blow. Um, Kolasinic hasn't been up to up to standard. Bellerin's playing a lot better now mm. uh, at right back. He I has got say, talent. Um, Bellerin's done I think, all right recently. Yeah, I think when he's got the... I think it depends who's playing in front of him. Mm. Um, there's a lot of time where people are taking his space and he's a marauding right back. You have to give him space to move into. Mm. Uh, he's played a lot better in the last few days. And obviously, since Sanchez left, the whole team seems to have clicked a lot better. Cause well, yeah, I mean, San I've heard a lot of things. Yeah, it's just a rotten... Apple, not just his attitude, it's just the way he plays. And I'm not saying anything because he's a world class player, but he tends to take a lot more time on the ball. Mm. And he wants to cut inside, take three or four touches, and then pass it, unless it's to Ramsey. He never passed to Ramsey. Never. <laughs> like, go back, watch the tapes. He never passes the ball to Ramsey unless he absolutely has to. Um, and, you know, he, oh. he leaves, Ramsey scores a hat trick. So. <laughs> 
But if you look at it, Sanchez, <laughs> this is the problem with Xhaka as well, they slowed down the play so much when we're trying to counter-attack and Arsenal has always been about quick forward passing. That's true, your quick passing football is what was really good yeah. at the Emirates, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so that's true, if you do that, and pretty much any team, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's a general rule of football. Quick passing football, nobody can play against that. Exactly. The minute you slow it down, you let the other team get in oh. back in there. Uh, I think happened with Sanchez, so now with Mkhitaryan in there instead, <coughs> hopefully we'll see that again. Are you actually just... excited to have Mkhitaryan? Oh yeah, I'm massively excited. He's, he wasn't that good at um, you know, United. Well, he, he started this season decently. Mm. And he started his Man United career on fire. Oh yeah, no, forget. when he started, and he then, was good. And yeah, then, yeah. It's the, then Mourinho got a hold of him and he's not a Mourinho player. No. Look at Mata. Mata is in and out. Mata's a great Mata. player. Superb player. Yeah. Mourinho takes him out of the team every time because well, I don't know why. Because Mourinho, <coughs> Mourinho we're not going to yeah. talk about Mourinho right here. So now, I think Mkhitaryan is a great signing for us. I think he fits our system brilliantly. I think okay. uh, him and Ozil together is just like, oh. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, those two together. That I, you know, and when Ozil signed the contract, I was like, thank God, because I thought we'll get Mkhitaryan and Ozil will go. Yeah. Do you think that was like, you know, legit? And did he actually want to sign it? Was it just like a last minute? All right, fine. I have to deal with it. I think now. he actually wanted to sign it. There's rumours that he, signed, he agreed to it a long time ago. No. Yeah. I remember last time we met, you yeah, said they they would, and yeah. then we were like, why haven't they announced it yet? Yeah. And if it's true, why are they not getting it out there? Yeah. With the whole Sanchez thing, but yeah. fair enough. Um, I think they just needed to get Sanchez off the wage bill first. To offer what to you offer, needed yeah. to. Mm, fair enough. <clears throat> but I think Ozil signing that contract was probably the best signing for us in the transfer window, even though we got a bad man. And now, if and we, Mkhitaryan. Yeah, no, he needs to build the team around Ozil. Build the team around Ozil, and we will, we will challenge. Yeah, well, he has to put out formation and put the players in the right position for that to work. Precisely. Which he doesn't often do no, <laughs> away from home. Hopefully he won't be there next season, so whoever the new manager is will Wait, have I'm that. I'm sure he's got at least a year more on He has, so. he has, but um, you know, if we finish sixth and we don't win in Europa League, uh. there's no way he can keep his job. There's no way. I mean, if we win the League Cup, no that might save argue. him. Yeah, no, that's true. That might save you him. You have to beat City, though. It's win the League. <laughs> it's Manchester City, but we beat them. You know, we beat Man City last year as well. So okay, that's a different, different cookie. I'm not part of this all. <laughs> That'd be pretty. It's Wembley. You know, we win games at Wembley. That's why I say yeah. we're going to win against you guys. It's what we do. I can hear you on that, but uh, I think it will be different this time. Um, I'm going to be positive, as I said. I'm going to go for a two-one. We need to improve on the last North London derby, uh, and we need to continue our home North London derbies. What do you think? Who's going to score for you then? Bamiang. He'll get on the score sheet for definite. Um, got a feeling okay. Ozil might get one. Oh. And um, Ramsey, if Ramsey's playing, I reckon he'll get one as well. I think Ramsey is. Arsenal fans give him a stick, and I don't know why. Um, he's, he's a top player. I think if we could get him injury free and playing week in, week out, we'll see the form that we saw a few years back when, he's, when he scored like 20 odd goals in the season. He's a top player, and I think Arsenal fans should get off his back a little bit. I think they should get off a lot of players. If you want to hate them. anyone, hate Welbeck. <laughs> you already do, so... That's it, join me. <laughs> okay, okay, go and help... help. Yeah. Go and hate Welbeck, everyone. See, you've got legit <laughs> no, proof. No, we should support all of our players. But if you mm. were to hate anyone... Yeah, no, it's not a perfect place to talk about hating one of your own players. Yeah. We deal with that a lot, but uh, <laughs> let's not mention that. Anyways, okay. Obviously, I believe Keane will score. Um, he's... Obviously, he fires up so much. Did you read the article? I haven't, no, I haven't read really it. You actually really haven't. should read it as a neutral. Um, mm. Read it. I, I, it brought tears to my eyes, mm. obviously, but that's because I'm a fan. But I think anyone who has a decent football brain and a decent football heart, which I know you do, mm. despite choosing the wrong bloody team, but <laughs> it's true. Um, I didn't choose them, they chose me. That's always the okay. case. So, yeah, no, read that because that's amazing. Yeah. And that same goes to you guys. If you haven't seen Kane's 0 to 100 article, I don't know where you've been the last couple of days. Uh, but yeah, I think that wraps it up pretty much. Yeah, I'll say one thing on Harry Kane as well, and I'm, you know, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I probably shouldn't say this, but I do respect Harry Kane in the fact that I remember him being on loan in Millwall and Leighton Orient, 
and to see where he is now just goes to show how much hard work he's put in. So I respect him That's fully. That's why for that. you should read yeah. that article. It yeah. go, it's, it's not an article, it's actually an interview. He talks about that and yeah. why he had to change it, so that's why, and that's so true, the way he's turned it around. Yeah, yeah. No, his, his deep point was, in last, was at Leicester, actually, yeah. not even Millwall. Um, yeah, he was on the bench a lot at Leicester, right? I remember that's the thing, thing yeah. like, Leicester was a huge breaking yeah. point for him. Um, but, yeah, so do go and read that. Yeah, yeah. It's a great, great piece of interview, and, yeah, Kane's an inspiration to everyone, I think. And the fact that he's also so humble at the same time as well, obviously, Baffles me in today's football, I think, in the modern yeah. modern era. But um, Harry Kane's one of our own. We've just got to 100, so here's to the next 100. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Go and subscribe to the Football Banter Show if you haven't already. Ah, yeah. That's a perfect way to wrap it. I like there that. Go, I like that. Anyways, yeah. So I'll see you guys very soon, and come when you spurs. <laughs>